What's up everyone? Welcome to another product review by Crafting with the Family. This is Marte Costal. I want to take this time to thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy the following segment, please don't forget to like and subscribe as this really helps me out a lot. And now, on with the show. Today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Ninja, I don't know, Creamy? Cream Eye? I don't know how to say that. Deluxe. Uh, this is $179.99 right now at Costco. And according to the box, it comes with three um, 24 ounce deluxe pints and lids. Uh, a pint is only 16 ounces, so I don't, I guess that's why it's deluxe, because it's 24. I don't know. Um, anyway, this thing's supposed to make ice cream and frozen drinks and all kinds of stuff. So we're going to take it out. Take a look at it and make our first batch of ice cream. Got the book. Man. Oh man, it's in here tight. Come on out. It doesn't want to come out. It's a really heavy machine. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with its weight. All right, got a lid, got a container with a lid, container with a lid. And it looks like the third container is on the machine itself. So, here is, oh man, this thing is heavy. This is the machine. Gonna make some ice cream. Goes. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was weird. So let's just slide. I don't know. Okay, so typical ninja. It's got its little twisty safeties on it and stuff not quite this looks like it holds on to something probably the mixer blade or something okay there's our third ice cream container okay that's pretty neat different very very different than what i'm used to okay let's take a look at this this is this appears to be the blade paddle installation. Press and hold the latch on top of the lid to install and remove the paddle. When fully installed, the latch will be centered and the paddle will be slightly loose. Okay. Take that off. Ooh. Paddle. Okay. Alright. Sharp, but not crazy sharp. Okay, so definitely this is not meant for like being a blender. Okay, these things are they're sharp, but not they're not crazy sharp. This is this is meant for mixing. Okay, like these ones are not sharp at all. Okay, so I'm guessing paddle goes on my in there. Mm -hmm. Probably should read the directions. That appears to be where the paddle goes. Okay. And I'm guessing that, oh yeah, okay. So you'd, you'd make your ice cream mix, right? Okay. Like so. And then you would put your lid on, like so. Okay. That seals, there is a rubber gasket up inside there, uh, underneath. And then this would slide in, and then we'd slide up into place. Ah, there we go. So that's what actually makes it lock, lock in place. And then you would pick your thing. That's, that is really, really simple construction here. That's pretty cool. 
I feel it all. Pretty, pretty cool. So, lots of advertisement for make drinks. We're not gonna be using this to make drinks. We're actually gonna be making ice cream, very healthy ice cream. Okay, so once you go up, it tells you, you gotta pick one of these. I'm gonna do, oh, this is how you do half and half in the same tub. We're gonna do full, and we're gonna end up doing light ice cream. So I, oh, this is a twist. Light ice cream, okay. And that's what we'll do. So, okay, we got our cup. According to the directions, we take it to the max scoopable fill, which I imagine is this line here. For this recipe, I'm going to be using 16 ounces, that's two cups of vanilla flavored and sweetened almond milk. I spilled a little. And we're gonna do two scoops of our powder. Um, you can use any protein powder, doesn't matter, okay? So basically we're making a protein shake. All the recipes for light ice cream say that you should add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, which will stabilize it, keep it from separating, but also give it a silky flavor. That it feels like it's got fat in it. I'm not putting any sweeteners or anything in. This is all that's going into it. Now, I'm gonna put the lid on. Okay, it's all mixed. It's all mixed up. Okay, and because of how expensive this drink mix is, I am going to scrape down every last little drop. Okay, so this is the equivalent of two shakes. So there's, this will be two servings, okay? These shakes, the way I've made them, would only be about 280 calories. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna put that into the freezer 24 hours and we'll see what it's like. All right, next day, got our ice cream. It's all frozen now. This is what we made yesterday with the protein mix. Now, we're gonna put it on the Ninja Creamery. So here's the outer container. You take the lid off, you put it in the container, okay? And then in true Ninja fashion, this twists and locks in place just like their blender. And we go over the machine, we slide it in, and we twist to lock it in place. Now the blade is already on the inside. So, According to the directions, we put it on. We're gonna pick full because it's a full container, okay? And we're gonna do light ice cream because that is what we made. We made light ice cream. And it says it's gonna take four minutes. And we push start, which is pushing down on the button.
that's what it looks like. Let's see if it actually go, it can get all the way to the bottom. Holy moly. <laughs> I think this actually just worked. This is what it looks like after I microwaved it 30 seconds and respun it. And let me tell you, this is perfect. A little bit of deep frost. I probably should read the directions. It probably tells me to do that.